Good morning guys, if you are new to this channel, I'm Ray Sung Lau and welcome to another note. As you can see from the title, it says how to get into a music school. I made this vlog because if you really want to pursue music, I want you to push through it and I will be here with you on your journey. I made this vlog as simple as possible and I, I will explain to you detail by detail everything that you need to know. And if you want me to help you on your journey, just continue watching. Alright, let's start! So I will be explaining to you the why, the what, and the where. Let's start with number one, why. So the question here is, why do you want to pursue music as a course? Are you the one that's being forced by their parents? Because your parents are also musicians and they want you to be on the same track? Or are you someone who knows that you really want to pursue music because it's your own choice, it's your personal choice because you are good at it? Or are you someone who experienced something called calling? Because in my case, I was forced by my parents and then the calling came after. This is the most important question that you have to answer. Why? Because at the end of the day, this is a course. This is music, yes, but this is a course. You're gonna stay in this course for four years or five years or more. And it will define your career in the future. Also, you have to know your path. You have to create your own path. And this is the first question because when you know the answer to this, everything will be more easy. So know your why and answer it. Alright, let's proceed. So the second question is the what. So we have what to prepare, what are the majors, and what are the subjects. So first is what to prepare. Of course, you have auditions, you have requirements, and you have exams also. First is the auditions. So for the audition, all schools require you for an audition. But it depends on the major that you are going to push through. I'm going to make another video explaining all the requirements for each major. But in general, yes, you will have to audition. Second, requirements. What are the requirements? I'm sure all schools are going to require you of the form 137 if i'm correct it's the um, it's your grades <laughs> i think it's 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 the card that has your grades from your high school or from your senior high school then what else exams so i'm sure if you are going to apply for a school you have to take the entrance examination of the school some school have theory exams for music, solfege, and some dictation, I guess, but of course it depends on the school. In my case, I only did an audition and the entrance exam of the school. It's for you to find out, really. And the next is, I get this question a lot. Like, it's it's like stereotyping. It's, it's also a false assumption that when you are a music student, you get this question a lot. What are the instruments that you are going to learn in a music school? Are you going to learn all instruments? Do you know how to play all instruments? Alright, let me answer this by explaining to you that music as a course is a course. Meaning it's the same as the other courses, just like in education. Let's say Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Filipino. It's the same for music. So in music, you also have different majors. Let's say Bachelor of Music, major in performance, major in music education, major in conducting, major in music production, major in what else? And many more. <laughs> and then the principal instrument come in right after. So for example, you decide to major in performance, of course you have to know an instrument that you're going to be focusing with. Same with the music education. If you take music education as your major, you will have teaching methods that of course the performance majors won't have because they're performance majors. They're not music education majors. So that in the future, you may teach 
in schools. So in music education, you still have to know an instrument. So in my case, my, my course is Bachelor of Music, major in music education with double bass principal. If you are a conducting major, if you are a music production major, if you are a composition major, I'm not sure if you need to have a principal instrument, but if you want to, you may have private lessons and you can ask the school about it. So to answer your question, no, I don't know how to play all the instruments because I have to focus on my principal instrument which is the double bass. And second question that I get a lot from people is do I still have to learn subjects other than music subjects? I'm going to make another video showing you all the music subjects and academic subjects of my course. So to answer your question, if you still have to take academic subjects, yes, you will have to learn other subjects aside from music subjects because we want academics and music subjects together. We want holistic learning and we want a balanced education and knowledge is power. And the last question is where? And there are four things that you may want to consider. First is major. There are schools that offer a major that other schools don't have. We have eight music schools in Metro Manila, at least from what I remember. So you can check out on them. And if you really want to pursue a particular major, you can ask them. And if they don't have, you still have seven choices. Second is the teacher. So you may want to consider the teacher. So are you entering a school because of this particular teacher? Do you want this particular teacher? Do you want to be trained under the tutelage or under the guidance of this teacher? So do your research, talk to the teacher, and ask yourself, am I feeling a connection with this teacher? Do I think that my relationship with this teacher will be good enough? Because at the end of the day, you will work on your teacher from day one up to your last day in your bachelor's degree. So it's better to really know whether or not you will have a good relationship with your teacher. Talking from my experience, it's really something that you may want to consider. I'm talking if you have the principal instrument because at the end of the day, you are going to be working with your teacher. Third is the tuition. Of course, each school inevitably have different tuition range. So it's up to you to know. Do your research. At last, for me, it's the environment. Are you someone that's very fond of big universities? Or are you that someone who's more comfortable with a smaller and more intimate environment? Also, under environment, you may also want to consider looking at the facilities and the community itself. All right, so just to cap off everything, why? You need to know your why. What? What to prepare? Auditions? Requirements? Exams? What are the majors? What are the subjects? And number three, where? Where is my chosen major being offered at? Where is this particular teacher that I want to work with teaching the tuition and the environment? So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more music content, Go check out my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell button. See you soon guys!